Hey guys, so Chris Velasco with Engadget and a bunch of other tech journalists that are also very cool. <laughs> and we're here crowded around the new iPhone 10. This is Apple's new flagship device. It's gonna cost a ton of money, by which I mean just about $1,000, but it is, if nothing else, a really beautiful piece of work. I mean, look at this thing. It's got glass on the front and the back that allows for wireless charging. Apple's own wireless charging mat, however, will arrive next year for whatever reason. We do have that wireless charger as well, but let's take our time with the iPhone X. It is a beautiful little machine, as you can tell you've got the stainless steel on the sides, the glass on the front and the back, and that interesting new dual camera. Now we've got two cameras there, both are 12 megapixel, uh, that do work together to, among other things, do the sweet AR applications and just take really good shots. Let's actually jump in there and try it out. It is worth pointing out that getting used to the new version of uh, the interface on the iPhone 10 is a little weird. There is the home button, obviously. You've just got some beautiful, beautiful space. So you do actually have to just use uh, a swipe up and down to access everything. So let's focus up. Just flick that one away. That was actually pretty easy. Let's jump into the camera real quick here. So we've got the uh, camera up here. Let's focus up real quick. <laughs> That's all good. Why don't you? Was I blowing you up? Nope. There we go. There's that focus. So, in addition to having the dual focus camera, we also have portrait lighting, which is very cool. So, I don't know if we can point this at someone right now. Maybe this guy? Yeah, okay. Maybe that'll work. So, he has been detected. Yeah. And we do have options here for portrait lighting. So, basically, this studies what you're looking at. Isolates the face and uh, sort of uses algorithms to kind of figure out what else is accomplishable with the lighting. So I don't know if I can really get in tight on someone right there. Focus with my nose. Yeah, tough to say for sure, uh, especially because I'm having a hard time focusing on this device. But it is, again, a beautiful machine. Uh, there is no headphone jack, obviously. The front facing camera. It's something we should definitely give a try. Okay. It's a really nice feeling machine. So I'm actually shooting this on a Galaxy Note 8, which generally I think has the uh, has the game locked up when it comes to shooting finish, but this is incredible. Again, we've got a 5.8 inch display, edge to edge. There's quite a bit of bezel going on here. If you run around the sides, let's take a quick tour around. Yeah, there's, there is some space there. We do see some Android devices with fewer bezel, or littler bezels on the side, which is actually really, really impressive. It took Apple quite a while to get to this point, although just looking at it right now, it is a very, very pretty display. Dealing with this sort of camera hump up there is very interesting too. So that's where you're gonna have your earpiece, your front-facing camera, and a slew of additional sensors that'll help face ID work. I think there's a gentleman back here whose face is actually locked to this phone. Let's see if we can actually get this going here. Do you mind if you try it? Sure. Can you take us through the setup process? Or what that would look like? We're actually already set up, so I'm not able to actually go through the process itself. Gotcha. You saw in the keynote, it's like you look around and it scans your face in a few seconds. Gotcha, thank you. So again, iPhone 10 looking really nice, feeling really nice as well. This is probably one of the nicest handsets I've ever felt and picked up. Although we have seen a lot of really strong competition from LG with the V30 and obviously Samsung with the Note 8 and Essential out of nowhere with the PH1. I'm really curious about an emoji. So this is a new feature that... <laughs> let's, uh, let's pick... Sure. Get a message going here now. So how do we access an emoji? An emoji, you go into the apps, and then one of the apps right 
So this is me as an Animoja right now. I'm doing my hands on as a pile of poop, which is perhaps fitting in some ways, but it does actually seem to work pretty well. Let's record this really quick. All right, everyone, that's all I got for you. Hey, so yeah, how's it going, guys? Face unlock seems to work pretty well. Face ID did work very well with the gentleman we just tried it with, but we'll have to try it out in person to really get a feel for what's going on. And yeah, it does run very quickly thanks to the A or the uh, the branded chipset, the Bionic chipset running inside. And that's that's two little. Um, all told, it's a very impressive little device. We're going to play with this a little bit more and get you some more information and some better photos and video. But thank you for sticking around. And uh, yeah, let's uh, see if we can find another one of these guys. Kevin, you're shooting. Keep it on the phone.